everyone, I'm Amanda. Welcome to To The Beat, inspired by CZ's Reverse Choreography series. We have paired four dancers with four music producers in a collaboration that deconstructs our usual ways of creating choreography. Today, we have me, Amanda, creating a choreography to no music, and Jin Lin, who will be creating a soundtrack to my movement. Now, let's get to know our NUS artists. Hi everyone, I'm Amanda. I'm in NUS Dance Plus as well as NUS Dance Synergy. I've been dancing for about five years and I started with contemporary dance. I was actually in a contemporary dance competition group in an external club, so I wasn't in like school dance until like junior college. Now I'm learning to ex expand my dance vocabulary by learning street styles and open choreography. Creating a choreography to no music was actually pretty difficult for me. Originally, I thought it would, it would be a linear process, like I'll come up with a concept and then I'll have the movement like fit the concept. But while I was creating it, it was like a it was like a spiral kind of process because I was like thinking about the concept, but oh no, I don't really like it. Then I created the movement and I was like, wait, this doesn't really fit the concept. So I kept going back and forth. But yeah, eventually I managed to somehow keep going up and like refining the movement and the concept till it was where I liked it to be. What inspired my choreography was actually, I guess my current circumstance because like I came from a contemporary background and now I'm like trying to pick up like a new style, right? So I felt like I was in a very like in-between space that I didn't know where I was. So that kind was kind of the main concept that I was going for. Like this imagery of like a rubber band really helped me. So it's like, like stretching it, there was a lot of tension, but then when like you release it, there's a like, it's a limp form. I felt like I was constantly like stretching between two points and like trying to find like the balance between these two genres, styles of dance. Hi Chun Lin, uh, I think the choreography wouldn't be what you expected <laughs> but just have fun and hope you come up with a great track. Hi guys, I'm Chun Lin, year one student from Business Administration. Really honoured to have the opportunity to represent Electronic Music Lab and participate in this project. So without further ado, let's get into the track breakdown. So first of all, Amanda did some really cool movements with that stomp at the start of the song. So I actually accompanied that action with a really um, long build up and ended ended it with a kick and really heavy percussion and right after that storm Amanda also had a lot of hand movements and also the up and down leg movements right after so similarly I focus on the percussion for these parts Amanda started doing a lot of spins very elegant stuff for these parts I didn't really put on any percussions because I thought it would like destroy the whole atmosphere so instead I focus on the melody and introduce the one of the main instruments of the whole song, the harp. Uh, Amanda started picking up the pace and introduced a lot of like uh, sudden movements. So for that, I actually chose that part as the main build up for my song. Right after that part is actually the most uh, challenging part for me because the whole mood changed. Like the dance move that Amanda did for that part is really uh, glitchy, I guess. I tried to add a really heavy bass hitting drop uh, with many glitch-like sound effects. Right after that part, Amanda started going back to the spinny, elegant dance moves. So uh, I made the following section of my track to be more melodic as well. Soon after, you can see elements of the same aggressiveness coming back. So I added back again the glitch sounds to actually like tie the whole, uh, all the different elements together. 
All right, so that's the whole track. I actually had a lot of fun doing this project. I didn't have any dance background, so it was kind of challenging and kind of out of my comfort zone to come up with new things and fresh ideas to pair up with Amanda's dance. But I think Amanda already did a really wonderful job doing her choreography. And it was really fun to like be involved in the whole thing. All right, so that's all. Bye, guys. See you. <laughs> the last part. <laughs> wow, actually, I think it's pretty cool. I didn't expect like the vibe to be like this. I thought it would be more solemn and like heavy, but then the track was actually very upbeat. I think I also thought like the the music would be more smooth, not so bassy, because like I guess my movement were rounder and like less sharp. I like the first part when I turn and then I go up, 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 right? Then got the got the background beats at the back. Certain moments where I did like fast swiping moments and the wavy part. Then they added some some quick beats at those parts and that that was that was pretty nice uh, I think. Hi Chin Lin. Thanks for doing this with me. I think it was quite difficult on your part because the movements weren't like what I promised in the beginning when we first talked about it. I think you did a pretty good job like trying to match the movements um, with the soundtrack. Yeah, so good job man. That was, it was really nice. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of To The Beat. If you thought that what you saw and what you heard today was interesting, you can follow me and Jin Lin, the music producer, at our socials here. To The Beat is produced by NUS Centre for the Arts as part of a series by Exxon Mobile Campus Concerts, or EMCC for short. All that's left is our bonus episode where we're finally revealing the surprise to you. So keep tuning in to our EMCC virtual stage. I'm Amanda signing off. See you in the next one.